Welcome to another episode of Nikki Savory Vegan Eats. I am Nikki, and tonight, you guys, you are in for a real treat. I am going to be making three recipes into one. I will be making a vegan fried catfish, also known as banana blossoms, as well as a savory, savory, savory red beans and rice with vegan Mexican chipotle sausage added. And I'm going to be making a vegan ranch sauce. Now, Stay tuned as you find out how the vegan ranch sauce actually plays into tonight's episode of Nikki Savory Vegan Eats. Okay, you guys, so to accompany my vegan fried catfish, aka banana blossoms, I'm about to make a very quick vegan savory ranch sauce. So this is a borrowed recipe that I took from Fine Apple Vegan on YouTube. She has some amazing vegan recipes. So if you're not following her, make sure that you follow her too, okay? So back to the recipe. Now what I'm gonna first do is I'm going to actually take some um, unsweetened almond milk. You can use any kind of uh, non-dairy milk, but this is what I'm gonna use, some unsweetened almond milk. It says vanilla, but for this recipe, it's not gonna affect it. So if you wanna have it without the vanilla, that's perfectly fine. I know it sounds a little interesting, but just, just go with it, okay? So I'm gonna take this and I'm going to pour some into a little bowl right here that you can't see, but I'm gonna take some, I'm gonna pour some into the bowl right here, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add some Bragg's apple cider vinegar, the mother. Yes, you guys know this, you know this label, you know this brand. So I'm gonna go ahead and add just a snippet of the apple cider vinegar to my bowl as well. Uh, a snippet and a half, yeah. Okay, so the whole point of this is that I'm going to mix this and it doesn't really matter if it actually curds up. You guys can see this. So I'm just gonna mix this and then I'm gonna put this to the side. All right, we're gonna come back to this in a minute. So what I'm gonna do is take some Follow Your Heart Veganese, Veganese soy-free mayo. So I'm gonna take some of this and I usually generally get the soy-free. They have a few other versions. I get that because uh, soy is not really good for the body, so I actually generally get that. Now I'm just gonna take probably about four um, spoonfuls. It just depends on how much you wanna be able to use as far as your ranch sauce. So the whole premise for this is for me to be able to make out some vegan fried catfish sandwiches to have this on the side. So that's why I actually am taking four spoonsful. Spoonfuls, spoonfuls, yeah. <laughs> All right, so then next, what I'm gonna do is add me some minced garlic, and I'm just gonna take about a spoonful of minced garlic. Okay, add it to my bowl. I know you guys can't see it, but I'm still setting up my kitchen, so I can't show you everything just yet, so just bear with me. All right, so then I'm going to take some dried parsley, and I would say this is probably about a, um, half a tablespoon of dry parsley. So I'm gonna add this, okay. And then I'm going to add me some dill as well, about a half a tablespoon. And then I have a little blend here, mixed blend. It's actually about, hmm, about a couple of teaspoons. This is a, a blend of smoked paprika. Can you guys see that? It's a smoked paprika. Um, it has a pinch of salt. I substituted out because I didn't have um, the pink Himalayan sea salt. So I used just a little sea salt and then some onion powder. So I really didn't want a lot of salt because to me, uh, with all of the seasonings, everything's gonna come together. So I try to watch that. So now I know you guys can't really see it, but this is what it looks like. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this first, okay? Mm, and you can smell the aroma of the dill. It looks like ranch sauce, you guys. And then I'm going to take my mixture from the uh, non-dairy milk as well as the uh, apple cider vinegar. And I'm going to just add this to the mix. And I think I made a little bit too much. I'm just gonna pour just a little, fill it out, and see what happens here. Okay. 
mixing and mixing and mixing. You guys don't want to really see me mix, do you? Ooh, it smells like ranch, you guys. Oh my gosh. And depending on how much um, smoked paprika that you actually add to this vegan ranch sauce will determine how reddish um, or light reddish your sauce is going to come out and look. So I believe I am good to go, but I'm going to taste this first. I'm going to show you guys and then I'm going to taste it. All right. It's easy peasy. It's like all the main ingredients that you would have probably in your refrigerator or you're in your cabinet. Here we go. So you guys see this? This is my ranch sauce. See that right here? And yes, I love dill, so there you go. All right, I'm just gonna taste this. And get me a little spoon here. I nailed it. I nailed it, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Mm, mm, mm. So this is our vegan ranch sauce right here, okay? All right, you guys, so stay tuned as I'm gonna add this to the vegan fried catfish when everything is done, all right. All right, you guys, so now I'm gonna show you what exactly I'm gonna do in order to fry my vegan catfish. I am going to be using banana blossoms. Banana blossoms are actually going to take on the texture for my fish. So first and foremost, let me just cut to the chase and say, don't even think about looking for banana blossoms at your local uh, market because I looked high and low for several hours and I was dead tired. So I would strongly recommend go check out your local Asian market so that you can find some banana blossoms. They are really hard to find. But what you want to make sure you do is you want to make sure that you pick up the banana blossoms that's in the can with the brine. That's really, really important because they're going to stay nice and moist. You don't want to use like fresh banana blossoms because your vegan fried catfish is gonna come out leafy because you know it's coming from the leaves of a plant. So keep that in mind. Make sure that you're purchasing the canned banana blossoms in the brine. Okay, so what we're gonna use for our fish texture is the banana blossoms. And I wanted you guys to actually see what the banana blossom actually looks like. You can see right here, this is the texture of the banana blossom. So basically it actually takes on the texture of fish. So when I actually deep fry it, this is exactly what I'm gonna be deep frying. So for my vegan fried catfish, I decided to use three cans of banana blossoms so that I can rinse out the brine using cold water and I have it in a strainer. As you can see, the texture is similar to fish itself. So this is going to be absolutely amazing when it all comes together. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and season out our banana blossoms. So first, here's the banana blossoms. What I did is I took a paper towel and I just basically blotted out the moisture from the brine juice. So I'm going to take some Old Bay seasoning right here and sprinkle it on my banana blossoms. And you can just add as much as you like. Old Bay is a little bit strong with seasoning, you know, as far as spices are concerned. So just make sure you're careful with that. Next, I'm going to add some onion powder and sprinkle it on. And if you notice, notice I'm not using any type of measuring cup. I'm actually just pretty much just going based off of my instinct of how much seasoning I want. Then I'm going to add some garlic powder right here. Garlic powder makes fish taste oh so good, you guys. And it's starting to smell good already. Next, I'm going to add some Tony's Creole seasonings. So if you have Tony's Creole seasonings, Slap Your Mamas, any of those Cajun seasonings, you can feel free to add. So I'm gonna add this. This is really gonna give a nice little flavor for our, our fish. And you can see it's starting to turn red already. Okay. I'm gonna take some ground black pepper next. Add a little black pepper as well, you guys. So this is what our banana blossoms looks like so far. It looks like it's a lot of seasoning, but it's actually gonna be equally proportioned. Okay, so next I'm going to add some dry seaweed. So you see I have this in a container, but you, I, you can actually purchase the dry seaweed in a bag. And I'm gonna just take some pieces right here because this is actually the key trick to making our vegan fried catfish taste like fish. 
we're gonna take this dry seaweed and I'm actually gonna crumble it up. So just like so. And you can notice how it's actually breaking up or whatever the case is. I'm just tearing it up. And I'm just gonna take this dry seaweed and just season it all over our banana blossoms. Again, you cannot make these banana blossoms without having the dry seaweed. Well, you can, but it just may not taste like fish or give you that fish taste that you want. So again, I'm just gonna take these and crumble them up. And again, you can get these at any Asian market or whatever the case is, or even in your local grocery store, you should be able to find dry seaweed. Um, also at the Whole Foods of Sprouts. Yeah, so, all right. So this is what we have. This is our seasoned banana blossoms. Now for the breading of our vegan fried catfish, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to use this Louisiana's New Orleans fish fry seasoning right here, you guys. And I wanted to get the one that actually had the lemon flavor right here, the lemon flavor. So this is what I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna take this fish fry seasoning and just put it inside of my glass bowl like so. And then I'm going to take some cornmeal. So I'm using this brand here, Red Till, and I'm gonna take some cornmeal and just add it to make a nice little balance. And this is gonna give it a nice, nice batter to it. And with the lemon flavor, you can actually smell the lemon, the aroma from the lemon right now. So I'm just gonna mix this like so. All right, you guys, so what now I'm gonna do is I have my seasoned banana blossoms right here. And then now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my batter. This is gonna be my batter. Remember that vegan ranch sauce that I made? I'm actually gonna use that and I'm going to actually pour it inside of the banana blossoms. So I'm going to just pour it in like so. And it's actually going to help the banana blossoms actually stick together. So I'm gonna pour all of this in here. And you can use any type of batter, but this right here, this vegan ranch sauce is actually going to give our uh, vegan fried catfish a nice kick. It's gonna be so bold. It's gonna have that dill and that ranch taste. So when you bite into it, you're gonna actually taste all of those seasonings. Hence the reason that I don't have to, you know, overly season my banana blossoms, whether it pertains to the actual banana blossoms or the uh, cornmeal itself. So I'm gonna take that and now I'm gonna use my hands. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna go in here and I'm gonna mush up our banana blossoms like so. I'm gonna get this all mixed up in really, really well. It smells amazing, you guys. Take all of this, mix it up really, really well. And this is what the banana blossoms actually looks like right here. So this is what our banana blossoms looks like, seasoned, okay? So now I'm gonna take it and you can see that there's like little mini strands of banana blossoms like so. So you got your mini strands of banana blossoms. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a couple of strands of the banana blossoms. I'm gonna take like two, okay? Or like three pieces right here. One, two, and three. And then I'm just gonna take it and I'm going to mush it together real nice and gently. So it actually turns into one banana blossom, see, it formulates right here. And then I'm gonna take it into our batter and mix it like so. And it's almost as if I am literally, you know, preparing to season and prepare out my fish. And this is exactly what it looks like right here, okay?
I decided to fry my banana blossoms using my cast iron skillet. I'm deep frying them for a few minutes on both sides rather than use the air fryer because when I used the air fryer initially, my banana blossoms came out a little soft. So I wanted that crispy taste. Look at how golden brown my fried banana blossoms turned out just by deep frying them for a few minutes on both sides. It's time to take them out and to finish out this recipe. For my red beans and rice, I'm using light red kidney beans. I'm simply going through my red kidney beans, ensuring they're good to go by rinsing them and just making sure that there is no small nicks in them. I'm going to dice up a yellow onion, bell pepper, and filled roast Mexican chipotle sausage. I'm going to simply cook all three ingredients in a skillet for about five minutes or until my sausage browns really nice. And then I'll be adding it to my red beans. Look at how savory my red beans come together after adding the Mexican chipotle sausage, onions, and bell peppers. And then check out the bay leaves here. Yum. So I'm gonna add some Mexican dried parsley as well for the finishing touches of my red beans. All right, you guys. Woo, I did so much cooking in this episode. But it's because I wanted to spread the love of my vegan fried catfish and my savory, savory red beans and rice. So are you guys ready? You know I'm ready. This is, of course, as you already know, my what? This is my favorite segment of the episode. So here is my vegan catfish right here, you guys. Do you see this? It looks so good. Putting it in the cast iron skillet, it already contains heat in the cast iron skillet and it actually gives it an extra crunch. Now I did actually put it in the air fryer beforehand. I tried the vegan uh, catfish and the air fryer. And so for me personally, it didn't fry as hard as I wanted it to be. So I only had it in the cast iron skillet and I fried it just for a few minutes on both sides because it's banana blossoms. Without further ado, let's go in, you guys, and let's see how this tastes. All right, vegan fried catfish. Here we go. Mmm. 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 You guys see that? Mmm. That's the inside of this vegan fried catfish. It is so compact with so much flavor. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Can you guys hear the crunch and munch? So you saw everything that I put it in and including the vegan ranch sauce, it really, really makes it bold. It has a nice little spice from the Tony's Creole seasoning. It's absolutely amazing, you guys. So good. Mmm. 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 <laughs> so, that is our vegan fried catfish. You guys, I had to get my composure because that vegan fried catfish is seriously out of this world. It tastes so amazing. I don't even have to hype it up. I'm going to drop the recipe so you guys have to try it yourself and you. Let me know how it actually tastes. All right, so now we're gonna go in for our red beans and rice. Now, I don't need to tell you how to make red beans and rice for the most part, pretty basic, but this is our red beans and rice with a little bit of basmati rice, as well as some bay leaves, and then I added the filled roast vegan Mexican chipotle sausage. So I added that with some like onions, as well as bell peppers, and now we're gonna go all in, you guys. Here we go. All right, oh, look at that savory goodness. You guys see this? This is gonna make a nice dish for when it's nice and cold outside. Here we go. Mmm, 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 mmm. So good, make some nice gravy right here. Oh my gosh, you guys. And then you don't even eat cornbread with this. Mmm, mmm, 
Mm -hmm. mm. I can taste the Mexican chipotle sausage and it gives it a nice little kick to it. So I'm gonna probably do something a little bit untraditional here. I'm going to take my vegan fried catfish and I'm gonna dip it inside of my red beans and rice. How many of you guys do this dip? How many of you do this dip? Right here. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So good. This is so good. Mmm. You guys, I seriously outdid myself. I'm not feeling myself, but I outdid myself with this. This is so good. Amazing. Mmm. Mm. Wow. Well, there you have it, you guys. This is six for six. You are tuning out with Nikki Savory Vegan Eats. And until then, I should talk to you lovely people later. Bye. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. So freaking good. <laughs> mm. Mm, mm, mm. Bye, y'all. Talk to you later. Okay, you guys. So to, ooh, I can't do this. I couldn't get the spoon in. You see this? It won't fit. Cut.